other comments or questions from the board at this point, uh, we'll now open up for public discussion. Again, please adhere to the three-minute rule if you have any comments or questions on this particular item. Could you pick up, could you turn the mic on? And... My question pertains to the um, tobacco violation for young people. So I'm just reading over it. I'm not a specialist in addictions, but I'm questioning the, um, the penalty for young people. So you're going to have them, for the first violation, um, they're going to perform 16 hours of community service, which, possibly. Which, uh, sorry, which section number? I'll put it up on the screen. Page 178 IA. So it's for 178 1A. Possession or use of tobacco, vapor products, okay, or alternative it. nicotine. It's, it's on the screen. Yeah, so I'm just questioning the efficacy of that kind of a treatment modality for young people who have an addiction to nicotine. So you are going to have them in a hospice working, a nursing home, and a long-term care facility. I'm just questioning if that's effective. You have a, a nicotine addiction, essentially, is what you're dealing with. Well, maybe so, they can take care of people who are dying of cancer from years of smoking. So. Well, I'm a nurse. Works and for me. Not my, all my, dying. My, my father died of excessive smoking, and it, you know, I don't it's, smoke. You it's recall. not all the patients in hospice. Okay, so. Right. I'm just, I'm questioning. You recommend another type of penalty? I don't know what that would be. Okay. I would actually look into addiction studies to find out what would be efficacious in treating a young person with a nicotine, nicotine addiction. That was my question. But it says because the, the court so may order, not the court shall order. It's just on here, so it yeah. is an option. I'm just questioning right. whether it's an efficacious option or not. Yeah. Participate in the health prom promotion and risk reduction. Program. May I answer that question through the chair? Sure, Kevin. Uh, basically, the, that ordinance tracks MCL 722.642, which, which is the state law with respect to uh, um, purchase or use of tobacco product by minors. Um, it says for the first violation under that statute, a court may order the individual to do one of the following, perform not more than 16 hours of community service in a hospice, Nursing home, nursing home or long-term care facility or two, participate in a health promotion and risk reduction program as described in this subsection. Maybe that's why they said, they didn't just say community service, but they were specific, you know, for that exact reason. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to do. I'm just saying I don't think how it's very efficacious at treating a nicotine addiction. Mm -hmm. that's, that was my question. Yeah, yeah and, and yeah. Mr. Bennett, what about the... Uh, subsection two and three here. Is that also part of the state law? Yes. Any other questions or comments from the public? Stand up. Hi.